can't believe how much gold there is on this river. This looks to be like a really good spot. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Polly. I'm out here again sniping for gold because it's my favorite thing to do. And as usual, we are finding a lot of gold. Right now, I'm just taking a break because my lips are numb. But after I eat some food, I'm going to go back in and finish this video. Anyway, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This will be my island. I knew exactly where I wanted to start my gold hunt today. Right where I found the Elvis nugget in the last video. And right away, a nice piece of gold and a bunch of lead, which is typically a sign that there's gold around. The very first scratch of the day, I found a nice piece of gold, a whole bunch of little gold, and a bunch of lead. Very good sign. So I spent a good four days sucking up the lead and gold that you see here. Without a dredge, it's pretty time consuming doing this one piece at a time. I feel like I waste the most amount of time chasing tiny pieces of gold. All pieces do add up quick, but we all want that nugget. I'm making my way to the bottom and I just found our first nugget of the day. I can't believe how much gold there is on this river. has a weird shape to it. It's like, I don't know. What do you think it looks like? I think I'm gonna call this nugget the can opener. I also waste a lot of time trying to pick up pieces of gold. Oh, not bad. Has a cool shape to it. That's probably about a gram. Sweet. So I noticed over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Polly. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. Just spotted a few more specs. The amount of gold in this river is insane, especially when you find it. I know underneath that clay, it's gonna be loaded. I keep having to get out to get my snuffer bottle. That's a good problem to have. This is a big reason why I think we would benefit using a dredge. Instead of sucking up one piece at a time, you can suck up everything in a very short amount of time so you don't miss anything and have a way bigger clean out. Keep forgetting my wrist has a sprain. Also, I believe dredging is easier on the injuries. spend some time moving this extra rock out of the way to really get to the bottom of this. But so far, this looks to be like a really good spot. While I waited for all the smoke to clear up, I decided to go explore and see what else I could find. What I'm doing here is just removing some overburden off the bedrock to see if I can find more crevices or cracks that could be holding more candy. La 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 la. Interesting fact, all these rocks are special, especially this one. I rediscovered a crack that I couldn't work last time I was here because it got too murky. Previously. That looks like a nice little crevice, but it's really shallow. I'm gonna see if I can uh, work it out anyway. All right, so I just laid here and this is my visibility. I give up. But now, since there's so much more water, I'm gonna work it and see what we find. Now this crevice got my attention last week because it runs across the river, which works like a good trap, and there's packed rock in it, which could mean that it's never been worked before. Which could also mean gold had a chance to accumulate. Let's find out. Two pieces of gold. Well, two pieces of gold is better than negative five pieces of gold, right? 
Moving on, I saw this bedrock that looked pretty good, so I decided to clear everything out of the way to see what lied below. Sometimes you can get really lucky finding good crevices under shallow gravel. This music kind of sucks. Let's see what else I got here. That'll do. Cool, a little picker. too much longer. I'm starting to run out of energy. It's already been five hours. Almost done. <gasps> A bubble bath. So because we're losing some daylight, I decided to go back to our first spot to see if I can pull a little bit more gold before calling it a day. Okay, so I'm calling it a day. It's been about six hours, which is two more hours than the last time I was here last week. And I think we found more gold. I'll try to do this with one hand here. As you can see, lots of lead and of course, gold. Wow, look at that. It's all over them, our place. That looks really good. And just like the last six times I've been here, we're doing another gold split because I'm on my friend's claim again. I'll go back to my own claim eventually, but not yet. So my buddy just put his gold in here and uh, it's somewhere down there. He didn't find too much, but there's our pile of snipers. Ugh, I like to feel it. Make a little pile. I'm just gonna split the gold and then I'll just go to the house and show you what I have. So here's our shiny little pieces of candy. Now before uh, I weigh it all, I just wanna weigh these uh, monster nuggets here. That's four grams for sure. See, half a gram, not bad. Now let me know in the comments and by paper mail what you think this looks like. Almost looks like a crocodile or something. What's your guess? Seven pounds. Ah, 0.79 pounds. Cool. Alrighty, here we go. 11 grams. 4.04 grams, so a little more than last time. Cool. And now for our crystal. 1.77. And because we didn't do the split at the river, I did it here, and this is uh, the split. Minus a few pieces that are now in my table crevice. I just want to quickly explain something for those of you who don't know this. So when you're looking at a gold video and you see somebody find like a five gram nugget and they don't tell you the price of it, people automatically go to Google, they find some gold calculator, and then they put in five grams of gold, and then it gives them that set amount. And then they start to argue that's exactly what it costs. What people don't realize is that a five gram nugget, because it's in one piece, is gonna be far more valuable. Same thing with a one gram nugget, two gram, and so forth. Those online calculators are going by fine gold. You can sell five grams of fine gold for relatively that set amount, depending on what currency you're using, what the value is, and whatever. But bigger pieces like pickers, nuggets, and big nuggets, they're gonna be way more valuable because not only are they in one piece, but they're more rare. And if you have some quality to them, like it has a cool shape or has some quartz designs in it, jewelers will spend way more on those than fine gold. So there's always a fluctuation when you're dealing with nuggets. Yeah. But I'm starting to lose my voice because of that cold water and that's just one of the prices you pay for sniping in that cold water. Now if you enjoyed this video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. So please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button or follow me on my other social media platforms if you like. I now also have a Patreon account where I post exclusive stuff like early release videos and behind the scenes content if you're interested in that. Thank you for watching, thank you so much for your support, and until the next one, black screen.
Thank you.